Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a jQuery product slider like you see here on the screen. Now, of course, you're going to have more than just one product over and over again. But I'm going to show you how quick and easily you can design this guy and use it on any type of website. First, what you want to do is go to jQueryUI.com, and we're going to use some jQuery UI tools, but I'm going to show you how to use them in really cool ways like I just showed you there. First, what we're going to do is go right here where it says Rich Effects and UI Widget and click browse then under widgets you're going to click on slider and then if you want a slider like I'm using and all the code is underneath of this video you can use it however you'd like I decided to use the simple scroll bar that you see here on the screen and then make changes to it now of course you're not going to want to just have one two three four I mean this is just boring so that's why I'm going to show you how to take this really boring thing and make it really cool and then on top of that of course you can switch and change and get all kinds of different little cool tools that are available up here by changing the overall theme if you haven't checked out the jQuery UI, you should definitely do so. But I decided to be kind of boring because I wanted a lot of control over what I did, so I'm choosing the theme Overcast. And then I'm going to come down here where it says View Source and click on that guy. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select everything that's underneath of it. The whole way down to here where it says End Demo and copy it. And then open up a little text editing device. And I'm using Text Wrangler. I get asked that all of the time. And I'm going to copy and paste in my basic HTML stuff that's just boring. I don't feel I have to go over. And then scroll way down to the bottom and close off the HTML section just to make sure I don't forget to do it. And then scroll back up. And then we're going to go back into jQuery again. Click the back button. All right, now what we're going to do is we want to actually get that styling. So I want to come over here and go explore the theme gallery. And then because I chose Overcast, I'm going to find Overcast here on the left side of my screen. And here it is. And I'm going to click on Download. Then what I'm going to do to make sure that I get the least amount of stuff possible, I'm going to click on Select All Components and I'm going to deselect. So now I'm just going to get the slider part. So click in here. And what it's going to do is it's just going to get what's needed for the slider to work. Then I'm going to click on Download and everything things being downloaded. So I'm going to come over here, double click on this guy, open up this zip file, and it opens up down here. Then I'm going to select everything that came with it and close that guy. Then I'm going to jump over into the folder where I'm going to have everything be, and I'm going to paste that inside of here. And then I'm going to open up index.html, which came inside of there. And this is going to save me a little bit of time. So I'm going to be able to come in here and just grab what I want to need here. So I'm going to select this guy up here where it's pointing to all of the different information that I'm going to need to make this slider work. Jump back over into here and right after title, I'm going to paste that in. You can see what it does here basically is just points at the overcast themes and then it also points at the minimal amount of jQuery I need for the slider to work and all that information is right inside of there. So that saves me a lot of time. And I'm going to get back to styling this here in a second. Just going to scroll through, make sure everything's set up properly. And right here, after script on the screen, I'm going to close the head section. And then down here is going to be all the information that we're going to be playing with. So I have to create a body section, contain all that. I'm going to get rid of this extra white space that shows up and then jump down here and close off the body. All right, so now everything's all set up. And if we save this, we can actually see what it's going to look like. And there you can see there's the slider. It's all ready for us to be able to use all the stylings on there. So now I just have to correct the styling. One of the things I want to do is I want to use a custom Google web font like I've used in the past. What I want to use specifically is called PT Sans. So I'm just going to click on that. You can see PT Sans shows up. And this is available at google.com forward slash web fonts. Really cool. Then I specifically want the bold version of it. So I'm going to click on quick use. And then I already have normal and bold selected. So that's cool. So I'm going to come down here to this link and select this link. Then jump back over into my working file where I have everything set up. And then right after script, I'm going to paste this in here. And that's all I need to do. And now I can use that Google font that I like so much. All right, now let's start getting into the real coding part of the website. Now, if we look at the menu as it is, you can see here that it is way, way, way too wide. So I definitely want to shrink down the overall size of this guy. So that's not a problem. All I need to do is I'm going to scroll down to where the actual content is and see that everything is surrounded by a div with a class name demo. So what I want to do is come in here and edit the size of demo. So scroll back up into the CSS part of this and I'm going to put dot demo because it is a class. Close that off and then I'm going to find a width equal to 480 pixels because that's what works for me. That's all I had to do. I just file save that, jump over here, reload it, and you can see that it is all nice and tight, looking really good. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to have three basic boxes with everything laid out inside of them. All right, so I'm going to have an image that's going to have a border around it. Then I'm going to have the information on the image or the product. 
and then provide a button for more information and another button for add to cart. So I have to build all of these different things together. So get rid of that and make it look nice. All right, so how am I gonna do that? Well, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna come down here and look at scroll content. That is what surrounds all of the individual little boxes inside of that nice little guy. So the width is gonna have to be big enough to accommodate all of the scroll content items. So that scroll content items is what surrounds the outside of each individual thing and scroll content surrounds all the individual pieces. This is scroll content item, that's this div, and scroll content is what surrounds everything that you see here on the screen. So you have to make sure that scroll content is wide enough to accommodate all of these individual pieces and also that the scroll content items are also of the proper size. Well, after doing some math and knowing how wide all of my content's gonna be, being that I'm gonna have 12 individual items in inside of there instead of 20, which is set up right now, I'm gonna change this to 1930. And I also want my background color to be white instead of gray. So I'm gonna put background, FFF. So down in scroll content item, which is what I need to fix, I'm gonna change my overall width of each one of these items to 150 pixels. And also I'm gonna scroll down here real fast and get rid of a lot of these. Okay, so I said I wanted to use 12 instead of 20. So I'm just gonna delete them. This, by the way, is where you're gonna put all of your content for all of your individual things. And we'll get back to that in a second. So I decided that my content needs to be 150 pixels wide and 215 pixels tall. So that's real easy. Now all that's gonna fit in there real nicely. And I also decided that I don't want the font size because I'm obviously not gonna use these gigantic fonts. So I'm gonna put in font, bold. I'm gonna make it 11 pixels. I wanna use that nice Google font that I had. So PT Sans. And then I'm gonna put Arial in and Sans Serif, finally, as potential fonts that I wanna use inside of there. And of course, spell Arial right. And then on top of that, I wanna make the background white. And I also wanna make my border zero pixels. I don't want it to show up. And I also decided that I want to have a margin right of zero pixels so that everything fits in here a little bit nicer. And then let's come down here and start editing what's actually going to be inside of these boxes, mainly an image and three text files. Okay, so we're in the scroll content item area. That's where we're going to be making our changes. So I'm going to give myself some room so I can find out exactly where everything is. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do here is to find a new div that's going to contain my image for my product. And I'm going to call it class is equal to prod image inside of there and I'm going to go image and then source and I have to point at where the image is. It's going to be in an images folder. So let's go over here and then you can see that there is no images folder but I have that image saved over here. Right inside of there is a little oil can so I'm just going to copy this guy. Of course you can have more than just one image inside of here if you're going to have multiple products and I'm going to paste the item inside of there. I'm going to get the image name for this product. Copy. Close this down again and paste that inside of there and it's a ping file. And I'm also going to define a class for this individual product image. And there it is, the product. And then close off my image tag and then close off the div that's going to surround that image. Well then I need to list the product name. Class is equal to, and I'm going to call it prod name. Close that off. And then I want people to be able to click on it and see the product. So H reference is equal to, and I'm just going to put in a hash symbol right now until I'm actually loading multiple products. And I use this just right to gallon oil hand operated waste can. And it's a weird thing to use, but something I had on hand. So. And then close off that div. And then I have to create my more info as well as my add to cart buttons and also add hovering effects, which I'm gonna do here in a minute. So what do I do? I'm gonna create another div, and class name is gonna be equal to prod more info but for button. And then create an A, each reference is equal to, again, just throw a hash symbol in there for temporary storage. And I'm gonna type in more info, and then close that off, and then close off that div. And then I'm actually gonna just copy this, and then it's gonna be prod add to cart because this is all going to go into my new shopping cart WordPress theme that I'm developing. And then here I'm just going to say add to cart. And just so I know what this div is, I'll come up here and copy this and put in a comment and of scroll content item so that when I'm looking at this later, I know what I'm looking at. And then if we file save it, let's just go look and see what we got here. It's going to be a mess because there's no CSS style. 
you can see right there, there's that guy, and then nothing's really lined up, but pretty much everything is in the proper order. So we know that we're going the right way. And I also know that everything's starting to line up horizontally, so that's also cool. So let's close that, go in here and make this look perfect. So I'm gonna scroll back into my CSS content and then scroll down to the bottom of it, right here where it says style, where they're closing off the style section. And I wanna do some styling on the product image. So prod image, close that off. And this is going to be the border that goes around the image. So I want to say border is equal to one pixel. And I want it to be solid. And I want it to be a gray. And that's just a gray color that I remember because uh, those numbers are quite rememberable. Then I want to find a height for it of 135 pixels and a width of 135 pixels. And that's all the styling I need for that guy. Let's file save it. See what I did. Reload it. Now you can see there's a border and the image is centered inside of it, but not across the top. So I'm going to fix that. Now what I'm going to do is zero in on the image class and it is called the product. I like that. And I'm going to give it a height of 125 pixels and a width of 125 pixels. And then if I want it to be centered, I'm going to give it a padding of five pixels. And that's going to center it because the difference between 125 and 135 is 10. And then if you put it on the top, right, left side, and the bottom, that equals out to five pixels. And you can see it's now centered inside of there. So now I'm going to do the styling on the actual product name itself. Let's scroll up. It's going to be prod name because that's the name of the class that I defined. Put this inside of there. And I want to position it relative relative to where it is right now. And from the left, I'm gonna move it to the left side of the screen. If I wanna do that, I have to give it a negative number. So I'm gonna make it six pixels. And then from the top, I'm gonna move it downwards, 15 pixels. And then while I'm at it, I'm just gonna copy this and do the styling that I need to do on the link itself, because it is a link inside of a div. And if I want to get rid of the underline, just go text decoration, none. And to make this more interactive, why don't we just show it while we're doing it and reload it. You can see that it is indeed pretty centered underneath of this, but now all of my add to cart and more information's in the way. So we got to go in there and correct that. So I'm going to go prod more info, but which is the name of the class that's going to surround that link. And I'm going to change its background color to 535353, five, five, which is a grayish color also. And I'm going to define the height for it to be 17 pixels, the width to be 61 pixels, and padding dash top so that it's centered inside of the button area of four pixels. And then I'm going to position it relative to where it is. And I'm going to move it 25 pixels down because it's encroaching on the other stuff. Reload. And there you can see is the button. So I just got to put the button in here in a way that's going to make the text show up. What do I got to do? Pretty much the same thing I did before. I'm in here, target the A tag that off there. And then I'm going to go text, decoration, change it to none. And then I'm also going to change the color of the text to white. And then I'm also going to add some styling for whenever this guy is hovered over. So right after that, I'm going to put a colon and I'm going to type in hover. And whenever the mouse hovers over it, I'm going to change the background color to that 666 thing we had before. Reload it. See the buttons in there and it's also changing color whenever we hover over top of it. So now I got to do is fix add to cart. And I'm pretty much going to be doing identical things with this. So what I'm actually going to do is get all of this, highlight it and copy it, paste that inside of there. And then the div that surrounds the add to cart guy is add to cart butt. So then I'm just going to copy that, paste that in there, paste that in there. And then I wanted this to be a blue to sort of match the site that you're eventually going to see. 89B5. And this guy's going to be a little bit bigger to accommodate the fact that it says add to cart. So I added 10 more pixels to it. And from the top, as you can see here, it's not quite that high up. So I'm going to make it, say, four pixels from the top of where it is right now. And from the left, I need to move it over a good bit more. So let's say 75 or 65 pixels. And everything else I'm going to leave the same. Let's see how it works out. Reload. And here you can see there's the buttons all lined up. There's the text lined up. And there's all this guy lined up. So now if I want more than one of these to show up, it's quite easy to do. So I just come down here right where scroll content item is and I copy that and then if I want 12 of them to show up I'm just going to go over top of this I'm going to paste 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
And there we have our little scroll bar, and I'm looking at it, and everything looks perfect. So you can see everything's lined up here on the left, the margins are the same down the center, and you can scroll through it. And now it's just up to you to come in here and put more than just one image and more than one links to different products. Leave any questions or comments below, otherwise, till next time.